Here is spending the day planting flags in advance of Memorial Day uh, observations this coming weekend. Ty, University of Phoenix campus, talking about this. Uh, hello, Ty. Good morning, Trillia. This is such a cool thing to see year after year. We've got a ton of volunteers from the University of Phoenix placing 10,000 flags out here right on their campus off of the uh, I-10 here. I'm joined with Brian here. It's hard from this vantage point to see what exactly it spells out, but we've got Sky Fox yeah. that's above us that's giving some aerial views here. What does this spell out for folks that can't see it? Always remember. Uh, say what? Say it again. Always remember. So what exactly does that mean? You guys, uh, this is something you guys do yeah. year after year. Why is this important for the University of Phoenix to be able to do this? So, you know, as a veteran, you know, spelling out something like this, putting the flags up, this represents a name and a face, right, for me. And that's the same for many of the veterans that are out here today as well, and many of the community who, who sees the event each year. And so it's just vitally important that we always remember that we never forget those that paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Um, they, they did that willingly, and we want to make sure that their legacy lives on. Brian, obviously last year you weren't able to do this event because of COVID, but this year you brought in some even uh, some newer things. Yep. Uh, talk about what you brought in. So we brought in a national memorial, national traveling memorial um, called the uh, Remembering Our Fallen Tribute Towers. Uh, and these towers, uh, there is a photo uh, and a, and a timestamp on there from every service member killed in action from 9-11 to current day. And that, that's our connection. Like I said, when I'm planting a flag, I'm thinking about a name, I'm thinking about a face. That's our way to connect to that name, to that face. And the community can come out, visit these towers, um, see folks that they may have known, uh, or family members, friends, leave flowers, whatever it is that they want to do, they can come out and just enjoy this display. For people that do want to come out that are watching at home, how can they do that? What are the hours? And then tell us what you're doing with these flags after. So 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. all week, except for Friday. Friday, the, the towers are going to start to get removed, as well as the flags. Um, the flags will get removed on Friday morning, uh, and they'll get delivered to veteran cemeteries around the state of Arizona. Very cool. I love that it kind of comes full circle there. Brian, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us this morning. Again, this is right here at the University of Phoenix campus. This display will be open every day starting today through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But remember, Friday's the day that they're going to take these flags away and then distribute them to all of those uh, grave sites throughout the valley. So pretty cool to see this, both down here on the ground and also those incredible images from Sky Fox. As yeah, well. re really impressive. Uh, I, both places, you're saying, but being able to be up top and, and see uh, how they spell that out, always remember. That was great. Ty, thank you. Great effort out there. Something definitely worth seeing.